Okay, who has taken their favourite pet for a ride on their favourite Thomas set? Uh, this is a Thomas set that came by the charity shop, and I've got a little pet going for a ride. There's so many people think that little uh, lizard there is dead. It's not. It's um, just having a bit of a snooze. Oh! It's, <laughs> it's going to try and capture our friend. Come on. Come on, little lizard. These guys uh, live under our house. They're called leaf-tailed geckos, and this one at the moment is molting. You want to go for a ride on Thomas? Yep. Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. Beep, beep, Whoa! Beep, beep. These lizards are very, very cool. Uh, I find them all around our place. One got caught in a mousetrap once, and I, I was able to save it. Uh, I couldn't show the footage of it caught in the mousetrap. It was actually quite distressing. Uh, but this is another one that I found, and they look just like dinosaurs okay we're gonna try again come on Lizzie just sit there have a ride and have some fun that's what it's all about and go go yes. Lizzie go yeah now you don't see that every day on YouTube I absolutely guarantee it Lizzie is going for a ride with well, Thomas Lizzie the leaf tail gecko go Lizzie go I was going the back route whoa I didn't think <laughs> I didn't think Lizzie was gonna fit under there Oh, Lizzie's, looks like Lizzie's having a bit of a sightsee there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Go, Lizzie. Lizzie's going to well, crash. <laughs> Lizzie just had crash. some fun. Uh, <laughs> uh, Lizzie's just stop, hopped stop. off the train. You better stop Thomas or there's going to be a horrible disaster here. Uh, Lizzie would be uh, basically run over by a train. Come on, Lizzie. Oh, Lizzie's going into Echo Cave. He can live in there. I'm sure people have got stories about uh, putting their favourite little critters. Goodness knows what into uh, train wagons. Okay, go Lizzie, go. Ah oh, yes, looks like Lizzie is enjoying that ride now. Across the bridge. Come down Echo Cave. Whoa, look at Lizzie go. Whoa, Lizzie's done the jump. <laughs> Hello, Lizzie. This leaf tail gecko, uh, I've got no idea how old it is. I think they live for about 10 years. And I have no idea of telling these what sex they are. Maybe if you look down there, people can identify if this is male or female. I dare say because it likes riding on trains, it's a male. Uh, that is, unless it's a female train fan. But um, Lizzie is a beautiful specimen. See the Lizzie skin there? Junior. Yeah. The skin there is coming off because Lizzie is molting. And that's um, normal for these guys. Uh, they often do this. Maybe one more spin on Thomas for you. Lizzie. I sort of found when Thomas is running, I'll put Lizzie on there. The vibrations thus make her sort of feel comfortable like she wants to go for a ride. And the other thing about these leaf tails, just wait on a sec. Don't let, him, let, let Lizzie go yet. They've got a like a back piece here which looks like a leaf that's why they're called leaf tail geckos and sometimes if they're being attacked that piece will break away and i believe that they will grow back but they don't grow back the same color as the lizard if that makes any sense um i believe that is the original back piece there we'll let lizzie go for another ride okay let lizzie Ready, spin yep. oh lizzie is away and enjoying the ride yeah lizzie go up the back there on the Trackmaster one very classic Echo Cave play set. Lizzie is loving it, loving the ride. That lizard is almost hypnotized by the ride on Thomas there. 
quite amazing to see. Bring Thomas to a stop and we're going to put Lizzie uh, back where Lizzie belongs. Come on, time to go home. You beautiful little creature. Well, can you see where the lizard is? It's sort of easy to see because it's not hiding on that echo cave. There's something I noticed about these lizards and when one got trapped in the mousetrap, it was on white concrete and I noticed that the whole lizard had changed colour. Now, I've got a feeling if I leave the lizard there long enough, it'll start to change and morph into the environment that it's on. It would actually start to hide and look like Echo Cave. Uh, that's one of the characteristics of these lizards. And if you ever see one in nature in a cave, uh, they're very hard to spot. You have to really look carefully to see these guys. Uh, beautiful critters, very, very uh, gentle and loving. They don't bite you at all. They make a sort of funny bark. I'm, I'm not sure what that, that means. Um, but they are just fantastic and if I go under my house and I put my hand up sometimes you'll put your hand up and you'll feel this and it it actually startles you because you think oh something uh, sort of moist and, and funny feeling uh, but they're a very very uh, beautiful lizard well Thomas come around here it looks like Lizzie might be doing a, a jump onto the back of the train in that position oh my goodness me start Lizzie did you enjoy Lizzie having a ride on Thomas yep you want to say goodbye Lizzie give Lizzie a little pat there see Lizzie's beautiful. Is Lizzie a boy or a girl? Well, I guess he's a boy. Do you I want to take tell. a look? Can you tell? Uh, yes. Okay, is it a boy or a girl? Well, I think he's a boy. Well, there we go. Maybe the audience can tell us if my son is correct. Thanks for watching and... Bye for now. And the Lizzie, Lizzie Lick, go. Mm. Whoa! Mm. <laughs> that is a Lizzie Lick. Well, the TV on upstairs, I'm under my house, and I'll show you where these lizards live in my home. It's actually under the home, and so often you'll see them up on the timber work here. And uh, I think they clean up all of the spiders and stuff, and um, there he or she goes. Happy catching spiders. I'm pretty sure there's plenty around. Well, please let me have a few final words. I'd like to come in and talk about this early Trackmaster playset called Thomas at Echo Cave. Let me set Thomas off. Uh, this playset is just so different to the sorts of Thomas toys that you get these days. And up the back there, uh, that's probably an example. In Australia, that's a $50 playset. I haven't looked at it yet. Um, but that is vastly different to what is laid out on the table here. Uh, this is really an insight into how well different the Thomas toys were, you know, not that long ago. This Thomas train set came to me via the local charity shop that collects the Thomas stuff for me. It had all its bits and bobs and the instructions here. Anything it didn't have was its own box. But for me, uh, it's a very important set to have and something that I always compare Thomas sets to because I think this is back when stuff was good. And when I saw my son down here playing the set and how long he played with it and he extended out the track and everything, uh, that was also a sign to me that there's something really good with this. Uh, that just may be lacking uh, in the train sets of today. Uh, but maybe the audience is the best people to say what they think. I know there'll be lots of more audience who haven't seen the earlier track master. That's the stuff from back in 2007. Uh, it was actually very, very different to what came along a little bit later on and what is around today with track master 2. I'll certainly keep an eye out for earlier track master play sets if they're all there and all the parts are there. Uh, I learned a lot by looking at this train set and if you're after a train set where the trains just run around and you're not having to come in and fix and be busy with them, uh, this is a perfect set. I mean I looked at a Trackmaster 2 train set and it was a shipwreck one, it was $100 in Australia and it had Thomas which does basically a one trick pony 360 degree turn. I don't think I want to know about train sets like that, I think I would much prefer to have something like this. Maybe you got something to say about that. Maybe I'm seeing it all wrong uh, as a double ending. Thanks for watching and bye for now. <coughs> Go, Lizzie. Whoa, pull your head in, Lizzie. Okay, cave's not that big. Pull your head down, Lizzie, or you'll get a clobbered. I think Lizzie's starting to wake up. Oh, that this is a hell ride. Come on, Lizzie. Marco. Oh. Lizzie, come on, Lizzie. Marco. Just don't play hard to get. Just stay in the carriage there. Or is he gonna get out of here? <laughs> yes, Lizzie, come back. <coughs> Just sit in your carriage there, and uh, be a good lizard. We want to see you go for a ride. <laughs>
Oh, no, nope. he, he wants to go home. Yeah. Well, he sort of is home because, well, he lives here, doesn't he? He lives under the house. Yes. Hey, 